CataractCoach.com. The IOL is stuck in the incision. Now what? If you push too hard, you could cause damage. What are you going to do in this tough case? And let's watch. Young patient here, very intumescent white cataract. Certain does a great job getting a rexus done here, despite having this very white and fluid-filled cataract. Now, the lens is butter soft. Look at that. Just washed out with BSS. Really nothing left there. Now you can clean up with uh, the cortex with the IA probe. Hey, did I tell you about Retina Rounds? Our Retina channel, it is already launched. It is going. You're going to love it. RetinaRounds.com or YouTube.com at Retina Rounds. Please check it out and subscribe. Now, here you go. At the end, it looks pretty good, right? There's the viscolastic filling of the capsular bag. Good looking Rexus. I like this case. Should be an easy case. Finish it up right now. Look, oh my goodness, what happened? Now, you really want to enlarge the incision here. Don't shove the eye to, you know, moved over to the nasal canthus. You can't see what's going on because that's too tight of an incision. So now what's going to happen? You're going to try to deliver it, try to deliver it. This again, very traumatic. Look at the number of tries here. Now what do you have? You have an eye well stuck in the incision. It's not going to go in. I, at this point, I'd pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Oh boy, this is going to be a challenge now, right? Think about it. What are you going to do here? Now, we've all been here in these tough cases. We're here to learn together. Let's look at this carefully. Again, try to get in there. But now the problem is the eye is a little hypotenuse. It's even harder to put in there with a hypotenuse eye. So another pair of knees, I like that. And now you can inject more viscoelastic, get the eye pressure up. That's a good thought. I like the idea. It's not quite going in. Again, I'd want to enlarge the incision because if you just push it in like this, it can go right through very rapidly. And just like that, and now what happened? Look at it. It's in the mid vitreous. Posterior capsule ripped right open. Wow. Now what do you want to do? Now the capsule bag is open. Well, you're not going to use this single piece acrylic lens anymore, are you now? You got to get it out. I think you're going to have to put a three-piece lens in. You're probably going to have to do an anterior vitrectomy. And again, I really want to thank our guest surgeon for sending in such an incredible video this is how we all learn together. So now what do you want to do? I like the pause. Think, okay, what do you want to do here? Yep, let's enlarge the incision. Uh, that's a good move for sure. Um, probably don't need to make it that large. I need to get that lens out. And once this lens is out, you really need to get some triamcinolone there, stain, see where the vitreous is, and do an anterotrectomy. The patient can still have a very good outcome. We just have to be very careful and deliberate in our next steps. So again, here's removing the lens, just kind of pulling it out. And now another paracentesis, and probably going to do an anterior vitrectomy here by manual, right? Yep. Let's see. So again, obviously, the issue here was it's too tight of an incision. You, you, it's okay to use the wound assist technique when you're putting an eye on the eye. But once you start to get the, the lens in the eye, you really want to bring the eye back to primary position. If you're sitting here temporally and you're putting the lens in and you're Pushing the eye so far into the nasal canthus that you can't see the cornea anymore, probably not a great move. So again, cleaning up the vitreous that's prolapsed, that should be relatively straightforward. And then I'd say you're going to put in a three-piece lens. It's probably your best bet. I'd put the haptics and the sulcus as an optic capture. you got a beautiful capsule rex, so that's the saving grace here. And so now take your time. Now remember, here's where I like triamcinolone. It really helps to stain any vitreous so you can be sure there's no vitreous left in the anterior segment. Triamcinolone is very helpful here. Now, here comes the lens. It goes in very easily. This is a three-piece lens. Get that delivered. Haptics can go in the sulcus. Optic capture is my advice. Let's take a look. And so now the good news is patient's not going to need a YAG laser capsulotomy. But obviously, in retrospect, we could have done things a little bit differently here. There's the good optic capture. That's very nicely done. You can see the rexes became more of that uh, oval shape. And now, taking out the rest of the viscoelastic, here, be careful not to cause any turbulence. You don't want to have that lens tilted. You don't want to bring up any vitreous into the anterior chamber. And so that looks good. That's a nice outcome. Here, I'd definitely put a suture in. Now, here, bringing down the pupil, always a good idea. Bring down the pupil with some mild call. And that's going to help you uh, obviously hold the lens in place if it's purely sulcus. But this one's optic capture, so you're safe. But also, it's going to be helpful to tell you that there's no vitreous left in the anterior segment of the eye. Because if the pupil peaks here, you know you got to do something different. But here, I definitely want to put a suture in just to be sure. Here you go. Hydrating this incision. Ah, there's a suture. Beautiful job. Good idea. I do like it. And again, this patient can have a fantastic outcome. It's just going to take a little bit longer to heal up. Now, a little bit more complicated surgery. But yeah, we've had previous videos on Cataract Coach. If you want to see about eye well stuck in the incision, you go to 
leave YouTube for a second, go to cataractcoach.com, the teaching website, and type in there in the, in the search box the word stuck, S-T-U-C-K, and you will see other videos of IOL stuck in the incision so we can all learn together and make sure that our patients have great outcomes in the future. So beautiful case. Again, thank you for sharing it. I think it's important lessons for all of us to learn and all is well that ends well. Remember, check out our new retinarounds.com channel. You will love a new video every single day and also on YouTube, youtube.com slash at retinarounds.